The poll dates for Tripura and Meghalaya were also announced today. Tripura will be the first to go to polls, that is on February 16. Very little time for the parties to release the list of candidates. And uh, mind you, there are several interesting developments coming in from Tripura. Uh, well, uh, the latest is that the IPFT, the IPFT is ready for a meeting with the Tipra Motha, Vazbir. Uh, the Tipra Motha has already uh, reached out to the IPFT at least on two occasions, uh, urging them to unite for the interest of the indigenous people. Uh, finally, the IPFT has responded uh, to the Tipra Motha's call and has agreed to meet. Very interestingly, uh, what sources are telling us also is that was uh, the IPFT has claimed that the BJP has not yet formally approached it for a pre poll alliance. Of course, the BJP has been maintaining that the IPFT is still its ally, but the IPFT is saying the BJP has not formally approached it. That's what sources are saying. We don't have a confirmation on, the, on that yet, but what uh, the confirmation that we have is that the IPFT is ready for a meeting uh, with the Tipra Motha and uh, well, it could go either way. It could still stay with the BJP. It, it, it could go with the Tipra Motha. So very interesting and uh, parties have to take a call very, very soon because uh, the last date of filing nominations is nearing Vasbir. Yes. Yes, uh, but let me give you the breaking story. First of all, the breaking news is that the Tripura Motha chief, uh, Prabhu Dev Barman, who is the royal sign, has just landed in New Delhi a short while ago. Uh, we don't know why he has uh, arrived in New Delhi. That is very, very significant because he has arrived in New Delhi a short while ago. That is the big story. We are breaking breaking at this point in time. Tripura Motha chief, Prabhu Dev Barman, has arrived in New Delhi. And, and it is significant that the NEDA convener, Dr. Himanta Bista Sharma, is also in New Delhi. And it is very very, very likely that Pradhan Dev Barman is meeting Dr. Himanta Bissa Sharma in New Delhi. We don't know. That is, there is no confirmation to that. And we are also getting to know that, uh, that Mr. Pradhan Dev Barman is uh, returning uh, from New Delhi and is arriving in Guwahati day after tomorrow. So that is the big story. So there, we can we can speculate at this juncture as to why why Pradhan Dev Barman has arrived in New Delhi. Is he meeting Himanta Bissa Sharma, who is already camping in New Delhi? And what is he going to do in Guwahati when he lands here day after tomorrow? Is he meeting uh, Dr. Hemant Bhishya Sharma again? Uh, so these are some of the things. But yes, the big, big development as far as Tripura is concerned is that the IPFT, which is still an ally of the ruling BJP in the state, is going to have an alliance discussion with the Tripura Motha. So already we can see an opposition alliance forming and taking shape in Tripura, and therefore it is not unlikely to be a cakewalk for the BJP. So this, these are very interesting developments as far as Tripura is concerned, Navarum. Also, Asbir, uh, well, with the Congress and the CPIM going for an alliance in Tripura, the seat sharing will be very interesting to see. And uh, also, it will be very interesting to see how many seats the BJP spares for the IPFT, if at all they go for an alliance. And if the Tipra and IPFT decide to go for an alliance, how will the seat sharing be? So there's very little time for these parties. The BJP, of course, uh, is confident in fighting in most of the seats. That's an indication. But we are still waiting for the candidate list. So all eyes, uh, the candidate list will be very interesting as far as Tripura is concerned. Absolutely. In the next one week to 10 days, the political parties will be busy for giving final shape to their to their, to their their list. And there is a battle for tickets. If there is a battle battle for Tripura, the first thing is their hurdle is the battle for tickets. That is what is a big challenge for the political parties now. And, and, and for political parties in demand, it is the Tipra Motha which is in demand, it is the BJP which is in demand. And, and Congress, of course, has given some kind of got some kind of a facelift with the with the with the joining of Sudhi Prabh Bhaman, but whether they get, uh, are able to make an impact, we have to wait and watch. But of course, the trainable Congress is not in any of the groups at this point in time, and we have to wait and watch what kind of a shape uh, finally Tripura takes place. But at this point in time, the, the the Congress and the CPM has gone into an alliance, and the Tripura Motor saying that they are not going to field candidates in those seats where they are not sure of winning is in, again it will it will it will come to the aid. It come it will benefit the Congress CPM alliance. Now, so what kind of a shape uh, finally it takes is going to take about a week uh, for for things to become clear and for the tickets uh, for the for the tickets to be finalized. Uh, it will take about a week's time and we'll all okay, get we, watch on that. Well, we are getting a reaction from Prem Kumar Riyang, uh, the IPFT leader. Let's quickly listen to what he is saying. Live reactions coming in. है वो डिमांड तो हम लोग का रह जाएगा हर साल 23 अगस्त में हम लोग दिल्ली में जाएंगे स्टेट में करेंगे नेशनल फेडरेशन फॉर न्यू स्टेट में भी हम लोग परमानेंट मेंबर है हम लोग हमारी पार्टी का वाइस प्रेसिडेंट है और ट्रेजरर भी हमारी पार्टी का है नेशनल फेडरेशन फॉर न्यू स्टेट में तो 
फेडरेशन का साथ भी हम लोग का डिमांड एक ही है हर साल में एक दो बार हो होते जा रहा है तो अलग करके हमारी पार्टी आईपीएफटी का भी हर अगस्त तीस तारीख में दिल्ली जंतर मंतर में आंदोलन जारी है तो हर नहीं नहीं जोर के नहीं एक बार किया था जोर के तो उन लोग का भी अलग अलग से भी किया है हम लोग का हम लोग का तो दो से किया था ना